money, power, more money. And that's going to be the topic of today's conversation, money. Makes people do a lot of crazy things. When you get those green, powerful bills in your hand, I mean, it just, it does something to you. Today I'm gonna to tell you the story about how I almost sold out my family for $60,000. <laughs> but first, what's up blues? Thank you so much for tuning in. I am back. I know it's been a minute, but we're not gonna talk about that. I am out of school now and I am leaving for Dubai in less than 24 hours. There's, there's nothing on this watch right now. It's dead actually. I wanted to go ahead and get this video out. I know I haven't made a video in a while. I've been in school. I had graduation. I did not graduate, but I had to play there and Howard University paid me for that. So thank you, Howard. It's the least I could do. If you are not already a blue, blue is what I call my subscribers here on YouTube. Blue is my favorite color. It brings me comfort. You guys bring me comfort. If you wanna be a part of the blue family, all you have to do is subscribe and turn on my notifications. Uh, I'm pretty sure you hear a lot of YouTubers say subscribe and turn on my notifications, but no, really do that, like for me to be a blue because we're pretty cool. All right, so let's just go ahead and jump right into today's story. So this all started about two years ago when one of my mom's dear friends passed away. They were both educators, so she left my mom a box of books that she could have to put in her library. I know, my mom has a library, it's pretty nerdy. Me, my mom, my sister, and my dad were kind of just going through the books. My mom is like, hmm, what's this? As she starts to open a book, stacks of money just start to fall out. And when I mean stacks, I mean stacks of money just start to fall out of the book. And it's all Brazilian money. It's not even American. I actually have some of the money right here and this is what it looks like. Is that gonna focus? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Beauty guru. We had no idea where the money came from. We have no idea what type of currency it is. We just see Brazil on it. So we know it's some type of Brazilian dollar. As we're starting to go through the money, we're like, oh, like playing with it and throwing it in the air. So I'm like, hey, we should probably look up the currency exchange for this just to kind of see what it's worth. I mean, it got 500 on it, the other one got 10,000 on it. I mean, <laughs> why not? And I'm Googling, this is me Googling. Y'all would never believe what the exchange rate was. Okay, so I don't remember what the exchange rate was. This was two years ago. We had over 60,000 thousand dollars on our hands. I went ape shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. We chop a rich. Hey, we rich, hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, wow, okay, um, that was really weird because I have a window right in front of where I'm recording and a guy just saw me twerking. Um, I'm just gonna hide. <laughs> Rich, rich. I'm gonna call my mom just so you guys know I'm not lying about this. Wow, I'm really hot after all that dancing. Hey mom, I'm actually in the middle of filming and I called you. What was the first thing that I said when we found that money from a few years ago? We're rich, we're rich. Oh my God, we're El Chapo rich. We're El Chapo rich. I told you guys, I told you guys. I am not lying about this. I literally said we're El Chapo rich over $60,000. I would never lie on a story time, ever. By the way, if you haven't checked out my last story time, check that out. <laughs> but back to the story. I thought I was Chapo rich. And when there's Chapo money, there's problems. And I think Biggie said it best, mo money, mo problems. And I had to eliminate my family. As we're counting up all the money, we see that we have close to $65,000. We're all talking about how we're gonna split it amongst the four of us. And I'm thinking, okay, you know what? That's all right, that's totally doable. But then my mom being, being the good, the good, Samaritan that she is. It's like, oh, wait, 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 wait. We gotta share this with the rest of the family. What family? Yeah, you got some sicker kids we don't know about? Who, 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 What family? This is the family. Everybody here at this table. No, AV. We talking about your grandmas and your aunts and your uncles and your cousins. I feel like the Miss J meme from America's Next Top Models. I don't understand. 
saying. Why, why would we, why would we share this vast amount of wealth? It's only $60,000. Looking back in hindsight, I realized that I was being a bit selfish. The money had changed me. The, the cruzeros, cruzados, I'm not really sure of the name of the money. I can't pronounce it, but it changed me deep down to my core. And I became the money hungry person that I always knew that was deep, deep, deep down inside of me because I'm broke, broke, very broke. I'm starting to have a brain blast. I start to like, just kind of back up and like hood myself and I'm just like, okay, yeah, that's a great idea, guys. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But in my mind, I'm like, how in the hell can I get this money for myself? I deserve it. I deserve all of it. And I will be damned if anybody comes between me and my $60,000. I deserve, I deserve, I deserve the money. I need to plot everyone against each other so that I can secretly get the money. So I go over to my sister and I'm like, hey, yo, Adia, right, come here, come here, come here. Don't you think that like we should take some of the money? Not like take it, but like let's take a little bit, a little, little bit of it. Let's just, let's just take it. We deserve that, right? But little did my sister know it was all a lie. I was going to blindside her after I got her cut of the money. Did I think my whole plan through? No, but the money had changed me. So I start making way to different members of my family throughout the day, trying to like scheme and plot and survivor outlast my way into getting all of the money myself. My family caught on because I literally did all of this in a three hour period and we all live in the same house. So, um, my plan failed. When you a broke college kid, you know, someone could have said $50 and I would have schemed for it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you haven't already liked to subscribe from when I said that a few minutes ago from the beginning of the video, please do so. Especially if you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. You guys stay tight and I'll catch you another late night. Bye. Did you like and 